Hey everyone, it's me, BDB, and it's time to drop the first review of Anime Spring 2023. And what anime am I reviewing first? Well, it's gonna be, of course, the first episode of... I got cheat skill in another world and became unrivaled in the real world too. Not season two, no, also as well. For our first episode of an anime, it was pretty okay. You feel sympathetic for our main character, Yuya, who is just trying to help a young girl because there was guys harassing her and he got his ass kicked hard. Yuya pretty much explains about his life, about his parents treating him like an animal, his brother and sister being beautiful, and in middle school, him getting his ass handed to him by bullies, and now he's in high school. He's just graduated from middle school to high school. The only person that cared about him and took care of him was his grandfather, and unfortunately, well, he, of course, passed away, leaving Yuya his house and... Cha-ching! Money, bravery. We don't know if it's a load, but he left him a house and money, so... Now Yuya, Yuya lives by himself and is looking after himself. Of course, with Yuya, he is fat and pimpled face and everything, and he doesn't like what he sees in the mirror, so he smashes the mirror, hits the wall next to it, and goes, what? Flying through, and seeing another part of the house that he's not seen before, and seeing his granddad's souvenirs, and then sees a door. Well, where did that door lead? It could hardly be an isekai, right? And of course, since it is an isekai, it leads to a whole new world. Of course, not just a whole new world, it leads to a, well, a cabin, a house. And there's a note left on the table in this house saying to whoever finds this house, it is theirs because the owner is dying. Now, it's not told to us, but I'm pretty sure we can guess who owned that cabin. Probably from the man who's already dead, the grandfather himself. Yuya comes across weapons and he practices with them. And then this blood ogre comes the hell out of nowhere. Yuya goes, and then I throw this over the best, and it just boom blows right into the blood ogre. Leveling Yuya up quite a bit and giving him points. Yuya decides to go back to his own world to go and get some sleep. And while in his sleep, Yuya is transformed from small, fat, ugly, pimple dude to a slim, muscular, tall, handsome ass motherfucker and good god do I wish this could happen to me. <sighs> now Yuya has seen that his body has changed when he wakes up, right? He sees all that. But the thing is that he doesn't see is that his face has changed because he smashed the only mirror in his house. I only thought this afterwards, but would his reflection not? Yeah, would he not catch his own reflection in a shop window? Nah, not once. Like this is going through the whole summer holidays. He doesn't catch his reflection in a shop window once or any window. Like he didn't get the mirror replaced. Like that would have been handy. When Yuya goes back to school, well, everyone's baffled. Who's the new transfer student? It's you, you yeah, no way! And they just, they don't blame him, they absolutely think he's a transfer student, but of course, somebody like had to start believing him because he's going, it, it is me, he's even, he's, he, he is his timid self, like he's taking on creatures in the other world, well, at least Blood Ogre, and uh, yeah, Coffee Monster, and a few other things, but these bullies are too much. Oh, monsters, nah, I got weapons for them. These bullies, nah, they're, they're too much for me. But I understand that, I get that. I like that because he hasn't come over the psychological problem with these people, eh? He's still afraid of them because of what they did to him before. Hoping he will obviously evolve from being scared of them to go, I am actually unreal. I am sick. I am awesome. I can knock these out, you know? So, I'm hoping it felt that way. Uh, Alright, and uh, after the credits, we see his brother and sister talking to him, saying he still won't be any good or anything, putting him down just because he looks good now. And then a limo rolls up. A girl comes out of it. And oh my, we actually recognized this face, even though we only seen her at the start. And that was the girl that 
Yuya saved, and she knows his name as well. And that's the end of the episode! <laughs> I am so very excited for more of this. This is from the author of the guy that made... Ah, oh, fuck, I can't remember what the fuck's called. The Fruit of Evolution! Like, this to me is like night and day from the author. I just gonna say this, I just realized the author is called Miku, and I think I keep saying he. It could, it's probably a she, so. So now I'm interested in episode two, how much we're gonna see him develop. Uh, will this, does this, does this girl know about this? In other words, how does she know who Yuya is? Uh, what adventures is Yuya gonna go on in episode two, three, and so far, and so on? And at uh, what point will he get his own back on his parents, his siblings, and especially the bullies? Yeah, you have to see him get his own back. I don't want him to nearly get his own back and someone say, No, you're better than this. No! No, kick their heads in. They made your life a living hell. Get your own back. Fingers crossed. I want to see that badly. So I am very much invested in this anime. But that is all there is from me, BDB. I will see you later.